Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to create another prop in Maya. In this video, we are going to model this sledgehammer in Maya 2022. So let's start with the modeling. So go to front view and press shift right click and take this create polygon tool and create some points here like this. Go to vertex mode and select these two vertices and merge them. Now select them and bring them closer a little bit. Let's do the same for these ones. Now go to face mode and select this face, press shift right click and go to face normals then reverse normals and create a duplicate. Go to your channel box and in the scale x add minus 1 and place this duplicate here like this. Now select both of them and combine. Vertex mode select all these vertices and merge. Now select this edge and delete. Go to vertex mode again and select half of these vertices and push them closer. Like this. Now create another duplicate and rotate this and place this one down here. Select both of them and combine. Now again go to vertex mode, select all these vertices in the middle and merge. Now select these vertices on the left side, scale them and do the same on the right side. Now select this edge and remove it. Go to vertex mode, select these vertices in the bottom and pull them up and these a little bit down. Now we need to create another duplicate so go to top view and first go to modify and then center pivot. Create a duplicate and rotate it like this and place this one here. Create another duplicate and rotate this one like this and place it on the top. Go to top view and place it like this. Now select this one and push it back a little bit to align with this. Now select this and go to top view and take a cylinder. Pull it up. Go to top view and bring it in the middle like this. Now select all of them and bring it in the middle of the grid. Now increase the radius of this cylinder 
to 1.2 and decrease the subdivision axis to 10 now select this plane and this cylinder go to mesh and this booleans and select this difference now go to face mode and select these faces and delete now go to top view and let's connect all these vertices take the multi cut tool and connect these vertices remove these two edges and go to vertex mode again multi cut join this here like this now create another duplicate and rotate it and place this one down here Now select all of them and combine. Now go to vertex mode and select all the vertices. Now we are going to join these vertices here. So go to merge vertices and merge. Increase threshold just a little bit to merge these ones. Maybe 0 0.05. Now we need to connect these edges here. So select these edges and press shift right click then bridge and same for these ones so let's connect all these edges bridge looks like we have deleted this these vertices here so go to object mode and multi cut then add a vertex here like and then again add a vertex like this and place it here Again go to edge mode and select these edges then bridge.
now we need to select all these empty areas so select them and press shift right click and then use fill hole to cover all these holes so we are almost done with our modeling let's do one more thing and go to vertex mode now select all these vertices and scale them a little bit like this now go to edge mode and select these edges press ctrl e and increase the thickness like this and offset just a little bit then again offset and thickness go to edge mode and select these edges then merge edges to center same for this side merge edges to center and select this vertex go to front view and push it in like this same on this side go to edge mode and select these two edges go to mesh display and harden edge now go to edge mode and select these edges and delete same on this side delete now go to edge mode and select these edges Go to Mesh Display and Soften Edge. Now go to Vertex Mode and select all these vertices one more time. And go to Merge Vertices. Then Merge. Increase the Threshold. to 0 0.5 then go to edge mode and select these edges now we have selected all these edges and let's select this one and these ones now bevel decrease the fraction to 0 0.35 and increase one segment now go to edge mode and select this edge press ctrl right click go to edge ring utility to edge ring and select similar 
go to mesh display and soften edge now let's create a handle for this so go to front view and uh, let's take a cylinder press t and increase its height to 25 let's increase it to 35 and also decrease the subdivision axis let's keep it 14 and go to top view press R and scale it like this Now go to edge mode and select this edge here and then bevel increase segments maybe just two now select this edge and again bevel and one segment let's increase this height a little bit more so go to vertex mode select these vertices and pull them down like this go to top view and uh, select this hammerhead then go to vertex mode select these vertices and scale them a little bit like this and also this cylinder So our hammer model is completed. Now let's select this head and assign a material to this one. Let's assign a blend and uh, let's paint it red. And this one is going to be wood. Now open your outliner and select both of them and add them in a group and rename it as low then create a duplicate I'm going to rename it as high and smooth it maybe two divisions Now let's hide this high poly and select this low poly. Open your UV editor and let's unwrap this. So let's unwrap first this handle. Go to create and select this camera based. Go to edge mode and select this edge here and select this one in the bottom. And let's create a seam on the back. Now go to UV editor and in the edge mode cut. Then select the shells and unfold. Let's fix the orientation. And layout.
now select this one and again go to create then camera waste I'm going to select these edges to create seam Now let's select this edge Now go to UV editor and go to edge mode then cut and one more thing let's hide this and go to edge mode again and select this one here and uh, one in the bottom then again go to UV editor and cut and UV shell and unfold layout now select it and go to file then export selection Let's export the low poly. Now go to display and show all. And select this low poly and hide it. Select this high poly and go to file, export selection. And export it as high so we have completed the modeling for this hammer in this video and that's it for today in the next video we are going to bake it and texture it in substance painter so i hope you like this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching